Hi, I'm divorce and family law attorney Kyle Scoresby, and this video is going to be a little update about grandparent visitation in Arizona. In December 2022, the Arizona Court of Appeals issued a new opinion about grandparent visitation in Arizona. This is called the Borja case, B-O-R-J-A, and if you want to look at the case, you can link to it by going to my blog post and looking for the grandparent visitation 2023 update. In this case, you had kind of an interesting situation. The paternal grandparents in the trial court had been awarded 51 days a year of grandparent visitation. In addition, they were given time every holiday, every major holiday, and the, the trial court even ordered the mother to notify the grandparents about all the children's activities. And so the mother then appealed this to the Arizona Court of Appeals and we got this ruling that was issued December, 2022. Now in this ruling, it was quite interesting. The, the judges kind of affirmed, well, the, the, the statute is constitutional. Judges can award grandparent visitation. But in addition to finding that it's in the children's best interest, the court, and this is just an affirmation of a previous ruling, the court has to give special weight to the parents' wishes regarding grandparent visitation. In this case, the mom did not want a court order for grandparent visitation. The dad was in favor of it, but he wasn't specific as to what he wanted. So then the trial court ordered all this visitation to the grandparents and the court of appeals said, no, that's too much. This exceeds the requirement that grandparent visitation be minimally intrusive in order for that to be constitutional. Parents have a constitutional right to direct the parenting and upbringing of their children. And when, when grandparents are awarded too much visitation, that exceeds the scope of really what is constitutional. Um, you, it, courts can't impose so much on the parents' right to parent their children by, by, it, it, by awarding this extensive grandparent visitation. And so the, the Court of Appeals said, no, this is not gonna stand, and they vacated the trial court's order, sent the case back to the trial court for the trial court to fashion a different visitation schedule that would be less intrusive on the parents' rights. Now this case just affirms what I've been telling my clients for years now, and that is that when you're a grandparent, it's very unusual, and, and we just really wouldn't recommend hardly at all that you use the court system to try to get visitation rights. Um, if the parents don't want you to have visitation rights, the judge probably isn't going to award you anything, and then you further eroded your relationship with the parents of your grandchildren. So what the preferable thing to do is to try to figure out why the parents don't want you to have visitation in the first place and work on mending those, those issues. Mend those fences, work on the relationship with the parents so you can have time with your grandchildren just by agreement rather than by using a court process to do it.